What's up guys, it's Chris. Happy Monday. I hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, this is long overdue. We're going to put together the new Apex Pro uh, with the new end bracket. So the old end bracket used to look like this and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute on the new one. But this should not take you long at all. The other one like with that end bracket took probably like an hour first of all. That's better. So we're going to open this up. And then uh, I'm going to try to power install this because I think I can do it in under 10 minutes. So that's going to be the goal. Actually, let's start the timer. Start. All right. So this is an orange base. I love this color. You can't do it right now. Uh, so deal with it. But... So here's the new end bracket. It just doesn't have that weld mint, the two weld mints, but now it's got four external screws. And now you don't really need to take these apart, you can leave them just how they are. Right, there's one. So you're going to get two screw kits. You're going to use the short screw, the M6 10s. You're going to use these for everything except the key and the end brackets. So the easiest way to do this is set this in like that. Get the, the short machine screws. We're just going to start ripping them in. And plus now you can keep them tight the entire time since you don't have to worry about that end bracket. Another one. So oh, thank you.
again, use the short machi machine screws for everything. Except the feet and the end brackets. Get on, Toph, if you want to come around to this side. So this is where you're going to use the long screws with. So these get the long screws as well. What are we doing? Oh no, did it stop? No. Whoever ordered. Damn.
All right, that's pretty much it. Besides, once you have it on your tabletop, like hypothetically, let's say this width is our tabletop, we bring it to about here. You know, we measure it two inches, one inch, whatever you want. And then you go ahead and you sink in short screws, which guys, there's no screws in this. All you do is it's pressure that pushes up against the channel. There's no holes you need to go for. We're not, I guess in other words, we're not sending out these without screw holes in it for everyone that has asked me. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You got your control box. You know, you're gonna plug everything in. You got your extension cords if you need them. Connect here to here. Your power, your switch. Uh, you got all the wood screws right here and then some cable tie downs. Um, it's not gonna hurt you to um, go back through and just make sure with the Allen key that's provided. Like, you know, this probably took, I don't know how long. What are we at? Just under 13 minutes right now. So, 10 minutes. I mean, if you don't have a drill, you're gonna have to use an Allen key and it's probably gonna take you three times as long. Uh, but it's a pretty common sense installation. Everything, like I said, gets short machine screws except the feet and the end brackets, and then you're good to go. Uh, it's probably gonna take you longer to manage all your wires than it is to set it up. But that's a power install of an Apex Pro. See you guys.